What's up YouTube, Troy Hodges here, back on my channel today. Uh, just want to cover a few things with you guys. First off, I hope everybody liked the uh, 6,000 calorie clean food challenge. That was by far one of my funnest food challenges, just for the simple fact that it was simple, I got to cook a lot of food, and I got to eat foods that I truly wanted to eat. So it was a great time, and I just feel overall better and great. I feel like my body's filled out. Um, I'm weighing above 210 pounds now for the first time. For the first time since I've been doing this diet prepping, um, I started off around 200 pounds, so I'm actually gaining weight, but actually getting more cut, more lean. I don't know how to describe it, it's awesome. Awesome experience going on right now. We're only 36 days into this cut. I was counting it down this morning, I was kinda trying to estimate to myself, like, okay, well how long have I been dieting and my body's transformation is happening so quick. So I counted down, I'm, I've been dieting for 36 days now. That's not that long. Usually I do 90 day preps for competition, so, uh, coming along very nicely, very nicely. Uh, real quick though, uh, I got a package here at Dana Mill. I have not had time to open it. I know what it is, but I want to share it with you guys. I want to, you guys see what I open here. So let's go to open it real quick. At least I think I know what it is. <laughs> All right, it is bags of air. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It is what I thought it was. Okay, so the other, I got an email last week sometime from a company called Raw Barrel, okay? Most of you guys might have heard them, most of you might not have. Um, they are actually a starting company that just actually started out from what I researched, and they are known for no, no fillers, no additives, the whole name, No Bull Creatine, kind of gives you an idea what they mean by No Bull. <laughs> um, so I gave them, they, they hit me up on an email talking about um, they love my channel, they, they really like what I'm doing and how I, I'm approaching everything. And they wanted to send me a sample to review and uh, let you guys know if I like it or not. So this is actually a big container of creatine. And I believe it's only like 20 some dollars. It was like $20 and some odd cents on uh, Amazon. That's the only place you can get this right now, I believe is Amazon. So, but look them up, give them a research. Um, legitly, you get a hundred servings here. A hundred servings for that price. You, you're not gonna beat that price. That's, that's awesome. The reviews, let me talk about the reviews real quick that I researched. They had a 91% positive feedback rate on Amazon. That is high for the fact of so many people could take this product and not like it or not see results. And that's 91 people that have bought this and used it or even just used it are saying that they they believe in this product. So to me, 91% is a good ratio. Um, a lot of other products you look up have below 90 easily. So I'm gonna give them a try. I'm gonna uh, probably do um, you know, your daily regimen is usually five grams a day. I'm gonna do two servings a day. So I'm gonna do about 10 milligrams a day and I'll let you guys know how I like it. So we'll go from there. I'm also going to, since there's 100 servings here, I'm gonna give uh, about 25 or 50 servings to my buddy Chris Rodacci, the one that uh, we just did a back workout with. You guys should be seeing that video yesterday when you see this video, if that makes sense. <laughs> my days are so compiled together now. Um, but I'm gonna give him some of this to try as well. I'd like to get his feedback on it. And I wanna give you guys an honest review and an honest opinion on it, so I'm gonna take it serious. But um, I really appreciate Raw Barrel reaching out to me and you know just giving me a chance to uh, you know review their product. That's awesome, very awesome of them to do that. They didn't have to, but they did, so I appreciate it. Another thing, real quick guys, I was um, up late last night editing the video that uh, I put out today, it's gonna to be out today. But you guys will see this video tomorrow. <laughs> I'm losing myself trying to think about this inception feeling. Um, I was listening to a video by Patrick Bet David. If you don't know, watch him, I suggest, highly suggest you guys watch him. He's from Valuetainment uh, on YouTube. Look him up. The dude is an entrepreneur god. And that's the only way I can describe this guy. And what I mean is, he he's just so. He's been through the bad. He's been through the good. He's living the good now. But he preaches about like what he had to do to get where he's at. He understands that everybody starts somewhere, but he has the same mindset. I feel like my mindset is the same as his. He believes in any dream and every dream. He doesn't believe there's limits on anything. So he, he just, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like he's solely talking to me when I listen to his videos, I love it. Um, but he asked me three questions. And it's three questions in a uh, Monday motivational video he does. He does every Monday, he does a motivational Monday. And it's awesome because he asked three simple questions. And I felt like I want to share this with you guys. And basically, these three questions are, what is your purpose, okay? They, they define your purpose. And it's one of his questions was, what do you love? You, and then you write down on a piece of paper, what do you love? 
You write down everything you love that you can think of in that split instant. And then the next question was, what do you hate? You write down everything you hate, no matter if it's small, big, whatever. Neighbors, write it down. Third question was, what bothers you? And now the difference between the hate and bother is I had to really kind of think about it because a lot of times if something bothers you, you hate it. But then I thought about it, you know, hot days bother me, but I don't hate them. Cold days bother me, but I don't hate them. Uh, spending money <laughs> bothers me, but I don't hate it because, you know, we all like to spend money. So I had to really distinguish the difference between those two. But I answered those questions to myself last night. I was writing down. And it just, it solely opened up my mind to what is important, what's truly important. And it, it made me understand that you have to find your sole purpose, you have to understand what you truly love. You have to pick out of that list of the things you love, the number one thing that you truly, absolutely love. And you have to really, I said this before, and I, I know I'm stepping on eggshells here with this subject, but when you find what you love, you have to really sit down and think about what do I have to do? What's my next move to make this, this plausible? You know, why, and then if it's a goal that's so far out here, and you're like, there's no way I can, there's no way I can grab that. There's no way I can grab that bull by the horns and ride it. But you have to understand that you have to take proper steps to get close enough to the horns to grab the horns. If you, you know, you can't just rush into it. You rush towards a bull, what's, what's he going to do? He's probably going to gore you. Is that the word? I, I don't know. Um, bad analogy again, sorry. Um, but another thing that really, um, that really opened my eyes was, what do you hate? And I found myself writing a lot of things that I hate. And then I started thinking, why do I have so much hate for all these, these, these things I'm writing down? Why is there so much hate? And it made me realize, like, we live in a society in a world where uh, if we don't understand something, we hate it. We truly hate it, and we don't know why. Think about it. Uh, write, write this list down. I did this. I did this last night. Write this down. I did it on both sides here, okay? Do that. If you get a, a two minutes, it takes two minutes, write it down. And then look at the list of what you hate. And you're going to be like, why do I hate that? Why do I hate this? And it's just because we don't understand something, we fear it. So when we fear it, we hate it. We automatically write it off. Like, well, I don't understand what that is, so I'm just not even worried about it. Or that has nothing to do with me. I ain't going to worry about it. So that's where it kind of opened my eyes up. <clears throat> now, when I wrote down what bothers me, or, you know, the question, what bothers you, I was really, I was really intrigued by some of the things that do bother me. And it came back to um, everything. It came back to failure. What I hate and what bothers me was two things that were similar. Was failing and not succeeding. They go together. So that's where I looked back at the list of what do you love? And I really dig down deep and it was like, okay, I gotta find my passion. What is my passion? My passion is fitness. My passion is, my number one passion is my family. My family will always be my number one passion because they, they are just, your family comes for anything. No matter what in this world, your family comes first because you get one. You only get one in this lifetime. You get numerous opportunities to be successful in life. You get numerous friends. Friends come and go. Friends are like a gust of wind anymore, it seems like. So don't hold on to a friendship over family. Don't do that. Don't hold on to, um, you know, trying to chase this goal and leave your family behind because you have to have that family there. At the end of the, you know, if you're chasing the rainbow and you leave, you know, the people that matter the most behind and you get to the end of the rainbow, who are you going to, you know, who are you going to celebrate with? There's nobody there. You know, you're, you found a pot of gold, but you're by yourself, you know, just doesn't, it's not, does not logical to me. But first off, what I was telling myself is I, you got to find your sole passion and your sole purpose. I believe that I found my sole purpose and my sole purpose is I'm going to change the world. Even if it's a day at a time, a year at a time, a minute at a time, however long it takes, change the world with fitness because I love this stuff. I've been doing fitness since I was 15 years old. And I live and I breathe it every day because it's something I truly enjoy. It went from being a hobby to being the small guy, the class clown that people make fun of to I want to be someone that people look up to. And now that I get people messaging me all the time, emailing me, people at the gym approaching me, it's the, it's a great feeling. And like I said, I may never be famous. I may never be this huge YouTube star, this number one bodybuilder in the world. But, you know, I just want to leave my mark to where people are like, Hey, Troy, he was a good man. He he left something behind. He provided us with some great knowledge while he was here. He did something with his time on this earth. And that's that's all I want. That's my sole purpose is to use my time valuably. So if that be teach my son to be great, or teach my others, you know, teach my sons to be great, or teach my friends to do great things in their lives, 
if I can impact one person's life to where they have achieve fundamental amounts of greatness, then that's that's it. That's my sole purpose. I feel like I accomplished something. <clears throat> so what I what I really did, what I'm trying to break down here is when I wrote down the list of what you what do you love, and you really have to circle the ones that matter the most, okay? And you have to go, okay, what do I love this? What why is my family truly what I love? Of course everybody knows why. It's your family. You grew up with them, you've been with them, you raised them, or you know, you were raised with them, etc. etc. Fitness. Okay, why is fitness my passion? I eat clean six days a week. You know, if you broke it down, I think I'm eating clean 26 days out of the month. And then, you know, working out, bettering yourself, uh, providing for your loved ones and the passion that you have to be great. That's, these are all different ones that you had to, I had to circle and understand myself. Like, okay, which one's the best one? Which one is the, the sole purpose here? Why, you know, which one is it that reaches out and grabs me? And it comes back to fitness, lifting and influencing other people and just, you know, helping people succeed with their life. That's what my sole purpose I feel is. That's what I want my sole purpose to be. And it may not be that right now. And it may never be that, but I will keep chasing that purpose because I feel that that's what my purpose is. So basically all in all, what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you, if a lot of people reach out to me and ask me, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay on this grind? This endless grind is what it feels like. And it does feel endless at times. And you have to remember that, you know, Rome was not built in a day. You know, uh, your most successful people, 99.9999% of them are successful because they stuck themselves in a routine every single day. They never stopped. They never stopped believing. They never stopped grinding. They told themselves, this is what I want. This is what I'm gonna get. And I'm not gonna stop until I get it. And a lot of times when they get it, they're still so hungry, they go for more and more and more because they just don't know how to stop. That's the mindset mentality you need to do. So you gotta literally write this stuff down, find out what your sole purpose is about what you love. Find out the one thing that you hate and try to understand to yourself. Tell yourself, why? Why do I hate this? It, uh, say it be a person. Why do you hate that person? What did that person do to you? What What did he truly do to you, or she, sorry. What did they truly do to you to that caused such an impact in your life that you wrote them off? That you you solely said, I hate that person. Because I truly believe hate is a strong word. I, I literally, you will never hear me say I hate somebody. You will never hear that because it just, it's such a dirty, ugly word to use in your vocabulary. It's such a strong word. And what I mean by that is, it's just, it's a harsh word because when you say hate, that means you dislike that or that person or whatever it is that you hate because it affected you somehow. And it's so hard to really let, you know, we preach day in and day out, don't let this affect you, don't let that affect you, don't let the mindset of others, don't accept the limiting beliefs of the critics, you know? So. If you're saying all that and you're trying to believe it, and you're letting one person or one thing truly determine hatred towards something, towards it, I mean, are you really living up to what you're saying you should to? So that's something to think about. And I know I'm sounding confusing here, so I, I, I'm just kind of, I'm really truly rambling here and just speaking straight out from inside out. So if, if this is all not making sense, I apologize. I really just, I wanted to express how I did this last night and it really opened up my eyes. It really made me understand myself. It, it helped me understand myself better than what I thought I knew myself. And that's, that's sometimes what you have to do. And what it is is I made this video real quick because I didn't want to forget what I wanted to say. It was all here. So I wrote down what I could, what I remembered. And you know I wrote down on the back here what I could remember. And I just kind of quick skimmed it. And it <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, practicing this video. It's most of my videos, I will sit down and kind of go through what I want to say. But this one, I just want to speak from, you know, the heart to you guys and let you know that to truly find your, your sole purpose and your passion, you have to determine your passion. You have to determine what your goals are. Determine what you truly want to achieve. Then you have to really sit down, ask yourself one question: Am I willing to do whatever it takes to chase that that purpose? To fulfill that purpose, am I willing to do this? Am I willing to 6 a.m., 7 a.m. cardio, 8 a.m. food, 9 a.m. gym, 10 o'clock work, come home, uh, you know, work clients, you know, go train this guy, go do this, uh, work two jobs, be a family man, be a fa you know, family wife, be a devoted husband, wife, father, 
<clears throat> you know, any of the above. I mean, are you willing to put all that together? Because it's literally, it's literally like packing gum in your mouth. You keep putting gum in, and it's getting bigger and bigger. It gets harder and harder to chew. After a while, that ball of gum becomes a big old ball. And before you know it, you're chopping away, trying to fight through the gum. It's, it's beginning to be too much. You just have to keep chewing away, little by little. Um, so that's what I want to touch on you guys with today. Uh, again, I'm sorry if I'm just babbling and going on here nonsense, but I really just wanted to touch with you guys and make, I want I want you guys to really try this exercise because and really get value tainment a look up. Look up um, Patrick Bet David. He has changed my life, and I'm not even saying that lying. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get his name out there. The dude's got over 200,000 subscribers in a year's time. He is phenomenal, and he just. He really understands the the true grind of pushing yourself to the limits. He understands, he's been there, he's been through the hard times. So it's awesome to hear a person talk like that and they can relate to what you are going through. So, and he honestly, and it, what, it, what even blows my mind even more is you comment on his videos, he comments back. Like that's awesome, he Snapchats his, his fans and stuff. It's just awesome around person. That's what I want, I, want, I have goals of being that if I ever get that successful, I want people to look at me how I look at this guy and be like, damn, this dude cares. He cares. You know, he's he's making time. He's out there doing his own thing. He's grinding, but he is making time for us. So I can keep talking all day. So I'm gonna cut this here because I'm getting ready to go do some legs. Today's Tuesday. We decided to switch it up. Usually we do legs on Thursdays, but I'm just really feeling legs lately. I feel like that's one of my areas I'm slacking in. So I really want to get in there and I really want to crush them. So. With all that said, I want to thank you guys for listening to me talk and ramble on here and babble. I really, truly appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up, email me, message me, comment on here. I do my best to reach out, you know, reach back to you guys. I appreciate all the support from everybody. I appreciate the messages every day. People sending me saying, hey, keep killing it. Your videos are coming together nicely. Your editing is getting on point. I truly, truly appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day, out of your life, to watch my videos. I truly do appreciate it. Like I said, we're not growing at a rapid rapid rate, but that's not I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about giving you guys, the ones that are here now watching constantly, daily, day in and day out, the best quality content I can. So, um, for I need some ideas for some future challenges too, so hit me up with those guys. Give me some ideas. I got some in the tank brewing, but I need you guys to help me out. So, um, hit me up with those ideas. As always, guys, stay grinding, stay the course, stay true to yourself. Don't ever let anybody change you or tell you that you cannot be yourself because yourself is the most valuable person that you have in your life. So with that said, I'll see you guys on the next episode.